Hi, darling. Hi, Lossie. Uh, Hey, look, we better get Blanky to sign our chitties. We don't want to lose our overtime. No fear, no. We need the extra money. We're dead skint at the time, you know. Yeah? Yeah. You know what Mum's done? She's done the front room up and we're taking in another, another lodger. Go on. Yeah. Hey, have you got anybody yet? No, I told Blakey about it. I hope he finds somebody for me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, Blanky's not there. Honey? Hey, George, seen Blakey, have you? Yeah. He's going up the sick room. Don't tell me he's chatting up that new nurse. Nah. He's got the guts like <laughs> Oh, poor old Blackie. <laughs> Here, look, we better get him to sign these chitties quick before he dies. Oh, joking, <laughs> mate. Let's get in. <laughs> oh, blimey, I might have locked the door. Oh, isn't it marvellous, and He's always on at us about with us with the clippers. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a nice time, won't you? <laughs> you two shut up, you moron. Nurse is examining my stomach. Oh, there you are, Blakey. Sign these and we can push off then, mate. Do you mind waiting until I've finished? <laughs> Have you got a pen after you've eaten? Yes, sister, after I've eaten, yes. Is there anything else in particular that brings the pen on? <laughs> yeah. whenever, I, whenever I clap my eyes on these two, I bet it makes an acid, sister. I see. Well, perhaps you ought to suck something. He does. <laughs> That's what we call him Dracula. <laughs> I can quite do without your crude comments. I think it's just over acidity due to stress and worry. That's, that's what I got, stress and worry. That's what it is. It's too much responsibility here, sister. If I didn't bother about them buses, I don't think they'd ever get out the depot. Well, that should cut your worries in half. Because if they don't go out, they wouldn't be late coming back in. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll get you some stomach ooh. mixture. That'll help yeah. the uh, Come on, Blackie, sign these, will you? Shove your monica down there. Yeah, hurry That's up. it. And the other one. Now, if you just Sorry, drink mate. this, that'll clear your stomach. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes, it might have cleared his stomach, but he's clogged up his moustache. <laughs> Oh, pardon. <laughs> yeah, well, a couple more of those would be unclogged. <laughs> Here, by the way, Blakey, have you found anybody to rent our room? No, I haven't, mate. I've got other things to do apart from worrying about finding lodgers from you, mate. Well, I'm looking for somewhere else to stay. Have you got a room to live, then? Yeah. Yeah, my mum, she's done the front room up. It's nice. You like it? And I'll tell you something, we don't charge much. Oh, well, perhaps I'll come round later. See if it's suitable. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. Oh, pardon me, sister. Well, that's all right. It's good for you. It brings all the wind from your stomach. Mm. Clears the wax out of his ears and all. <laughs> Will you get out? All right. <laughs> oh, 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 they brought my paint on again, sister. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be very happy and comfortable here, dear. Oh, yes, thank you. The room is very nice. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, cut your shot a bit of cake, love. Oh. Oh, allow me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just a sliver, it's so fattening. Oh, there we are. Thank you, that's beautifully cut. Uh, uh, uh. I'll have another bit. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you have any children? Uh, no, no, not yet. <laughs> no, well, you see, they've only been married ten years. <laughs> You're a career woman, are you? No. Well, what do you do with yourself all day? You must be wondering what they do with themselves all night. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose working with busmen, you must get used to crude remarks like that. Yes, I'm afraid I do, but it's all part of the job. Oh, bloody, I was only joking. In very bad taste. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I suppose you had to work very hard to be a nurse. Oh, yes, I did, but it's very interesting work. Oh, I'm sure it's the sort of thing it's I always... Actually, actually, I have always wanted to take up medicine myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, love. Just had a bit of a shock, that's all. Actually, you'd have made a very good doctor. You have just the right manner. It's very important. <laughs> nice of you to say, sir. Well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I'll finish unpacking. Oh, allow me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey, I know she only had a little bit of cake, but surely she's got the strength to turn the knob. <laughs> I was merely being polite. It's a nice change to have someone well-bred in the house. You never opened the door for me. Ah, uh, be fair, love, you did once. When was that? When you threatened to leave home. <laughs> don't stand me, it's the truth. Bommy couldn't get the door quick enough to open it for her. Oh, now, don't be nasty, love. You know he didn't mean it. 
Anyway, I think that young lady's got very nice manners. Did you notice when she took her bit of cake, she cocked her little finger up? <laughs> that was nice. Think you that's nice? Yeah. Well, just because she cocks her little finger up, it doesn't impress me. I think she's a stuck-up bit. Hey? She walks around the depot with her nose crinkled up as though there's a nasty smell in the air. <laughs> with you lot there, there very probably is. <laughs> Personally, I found her conversation most stimulating. Stimulating? You made yourself a right net, didn't you? <laughs> well, of course, uh, I always uh, fancy taking up uh, uh, medicine. I have always wanted to take up medicine. Ah, it would have been nice for my little Olive if Arthur had been a doctor. Yeah, he might have had his operation done properly. <laughs> Him, he's too mean. If he'd have been a doctor, he'd have done it himself. <laughs> could he have done it? Well, of course he could. Mind you, that had eyes in the back of his head. <laughs> How very funny. How very funny. Mind you, I don't suppose that young lady will stay here more than the day having to put up with you lot. Oh, well, I bet she will. I'm making a very nice dinner tonight because it's her first evening here. Good. I just hope you won't all bore her with your rather coarse conversation. Oh, well, I don't expect she found you so blooming dazzling. Oh, he does it all right, that. Every time he turned his bonds, his bald head kept shining in her eyes. <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> Come on, Stan, wake up. Stan! Huh? Dinner's oh. ready. Oh, thanks, Ollie. Yeah. I'm a bit peckish. Well, come on, love. Tidy yourself up. What for? The lodger. Now, Mum, look, look, let's get this straight, shall we? Let's start as we mean to carry on. I'm not behaving any different just because we've got a snooty lodger in the house. Huh? Is dinner ready? Has <laughs> anyone bothered to call Marion? Get him. <laughs> what are you tarting up like that for? I thought I may as well change, so I just had a bath. A bath? It's only Wednesday. <laughs> It is permissible to have a bath more than once a week. You've shaved. Yeah, yeah, he? So, yes. It looks as smooth as a baby's bum. <laughs> yes. Get your heads off. You've done it for that woman? Not at all. Well, you never shave for me in the evenings. Hey, he's even put talcum powder on. It might be a good idea if you were a little more particular over your own personal hygiene. Oh, well, if you feel that way, mate, I'll tell him what I'll do. I'll get a bit of grisette for water around in my arm, does it? <laughs> there is no need to be ridiculous. Me ridiculous? Blimey, you're the man that's being ridiculous. Look at you. What's that pink thing in your pocket? Oh, yes. Your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with her drawers in your pocket? <laughs> they were hanging up in the bathroom. I only got them down just in time before Mary came in for her bath. Oh, oh, oh. oh hasn't she ever seen knickers before? <laughs> or doesn't she wear any? Well, perhaps that's what he's hoping. I don't want him. You can have him back. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, of course. I'm afraid the cat's a little bit stiff. Oh, yes, I think I can see what's the trouble. Hasn't he got a nice, soft, gentle touch? No good of asking her, love. She can't remember. <laughs> yeah, come on, loves. All sit down. Have the suit while it's still well, hot. Come out of it. Come on. <laughs> Mary, love, sit there. That's it. Hey, up. <clears throat> Charlie. Good love, <laughs> Come on, Olive, darling, get stuck in. It's your picture night tonight. You don't want to be late. Otherwise, you'll miss the start of the film. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and I always got the pictures on a Wednesday night. Oh, well, I was thinking of going this evening. Oh, how lovely. Perhaps you could join us. Hey? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. I'd, I'd hate to miss the film. Oh, yeah. What is it? What's it called? Oh, it's one of Antonio and his masterpieces. They say it's a spiritual experience. Do they really? We're going to see Dracula meets the ape man. Well, I suppose that's all right for people that want a cheap thrill. 
Well, it's the only sort of thrill some people get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, personally, of course, I, I only go to see those sort of films to please Olive. I myself would much prefer something more mentally stimulating. Come off it. Yes. Yes, I think that's a good idea. We'll all go and see that Antigone film. Talk about, I go and get my coat. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not going to see that film. If you want to see it, you see it with her. Righty ho, I will. <laughs> Arthur! Yes? You can't leave Olive. Oh. Well, I suppose you were looking forward to seeing that Dracula thing. You know I was. Uh, righty ho, sunshine. Here's uh, 50 pence. <laughs> See you at home after the film. <laughs> oh, Mum, he's not going to go to pictures with that woman. No, he won't go, darling. It's all talk. You know him. I'll tell you what. I bet you five shillings he comes back. Good night, all. <laughs> oh, you a dollar. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely evening. Uh, uh, thank that? you for the taxi. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. We, uh, we always come home by taxi. <laughs> yes, the, the bus service here is so disgusting you can't even tell if they're going to run. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, sir. Uh, we might have been stuck in that shelter together for hours. <laughs> well, that might have been nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did enjoy your company. Your wife's a very lucky woman. Oh, well, I... I do my best to keep her happy. About once a year. I thought the film was marvellous. It was typical Antonioni, especially that scene in the park. Oh, my goodness, yes, yes. All that stark realism. <laughs> Sheer power of primitive passion. Good, how would he know? Well. Well. <laughs> well, good, good night, then. Good night. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're still up, are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All that primitive passion seems to have got you going, doesn't it? Well, you want to forget that because Olive's waiting for you. <laughs> you were spying. <laughs> well, of course we. Uh, we always take a taxi home. Oh, shut up. <laughs> of course, I've got to admit, mate, uh, you can do far more things in the back of a taxi than you can in a bus shelter. <laughs> I'm not standing here listening to your foul remarks. I'm going to bed. All right, then. Well, good night, Arthur. Best of luck, mate. Here, Steph. Steph. What? Jan or something? Hey, Jan, no, mate. Hey, hey. Jan, no. Hey. She's locked you out. <laughs> she what? She's locked you out. Olive! Don't be so stupid, open the door! You're not coming in? Not even if you get on your bended knees. You treat me like an old frump. Well, that's just about what you offer them. <laughs> I'll take that with beer all night, mate. Humor her, humor her. Olive. Don't be stupid, girl. You know you'll be frightened on your own in the dark there. Blimey, she's more frightened when you were here. Oh, shut up. Come here. You haven't got a clue, have you? I've got no idea. Come here. She's a woman, isn't she? She's upset. You've got to speak nicely to her. She'll soon melt. You think so? Well, I ought to know, don't I? Besides, she's my sister. I can't take it cool, you know. Put a bit of the old charm on. Oh, right. <coughs> so Sunshine! <laughs> I am very sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I, I'll make it up to you, Olive. I promise. She's coming. Yeah, hey, what did I tell you? It work. About time, sir. Here's your pyjamas, you pig. You can sleep on the floor. Well, that was brilliant. 
Well, let's face it, you wasn't very good at it, was you? You haven't had enough practice being nice to Olive. I'll give her a nice. <laughs> Open that door! Yeah, now listen, what's going on out here? Well, uh, Olive's looked him out. And I'm not surprised after the way he treated her. Most hurtful. Open that door, Olive! Oh, shut up, you'll never get anywhere like that. My little Olive's a woman. You gotta talk nicely to her, then she'll melt and open the door. And I'll get my teeth kicked in. <laughs> open that door, there! Hey, quiet, for God's sake, we, we, we've got a lodger in the house. Oh, yes! Here, there's only one thing for it. You'll have to sleep with him. Yeah. Holly! Open the door! Open the door! I'm not having him kick with me. Blow my bed's only three foot foot wide. We can't get two in now. Well, of course we can. When your dad and me was first married, we slept in a three foot bed. Stan and I don't have to be just married. Oh, shut up. Come on. Olive, love, it's Mum. Open the door. Here's a good girl. Here. And if Arthur don't behave himself and upset you again, you can come and sleep in my room. You can come in. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to sleep right on the edge of the bed, away from me! <laughs> That's how I thought they always slept. <laughs> oh, Jack. You should have been in our house last night. The right drama there. Do you know what? I was up with the old lady for three hours trying to convince her that Arthur wouldn't leave Olive. No, of course he won't. Well, I'll see to that. You know how much he eats. Go on, mind me. Cost me a fortune. <laughs> Heads up. Here comes old Rumble Tongue. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hello, Blackie. What's that you got there, then? It's me medicines. What? That new nurse certainly understands my stomach, you know. Yeah. It's all this aggravation causes me to make acid. Yeah, what's all that muck you got in there, then? Well, it's yoghurt. Easily digestible, you yeah. see. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's natural yoghurt, that is. It comes from the milk of wild goats. Oh, yeah, I saw a documentary about that. You know, it appears that all the blokes in Bulgaria who eat that every day all live to be 100. Do they, really? That means we've got to put up with him for another five years. <laughs> come on, get his butt All right, all right. Hey, Donnie, you come in with us. I thought you was off duty. I am. Nurse told me to go and eat me dinner at home. See, so I'm going home now. I must get home and get some peace and quiet when I'll get it, see? Oh, 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 God. I'll tell you what, Blackie. It might be better if we took you straight to the cemetery gates. <laughs> <laughs> See your driver out <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to have a word with you, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, I can't stop to chat to be late for lunch. I can't stand the canteen. It's so rough and scruffy. Oh, Jack, I can't stand the canteen. It's so rough and scruffy. <laughs> Stuck up a bit. If I see Arthur snipping round her again, I'll do him. Yeah, come on, mate. I'll see you. Yeah, Make sure your brakes are all right. Well, I can tell you this, they're marvellous. I oh, know that, don't I, you blooming moron? Oh, 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 oh. Got your paint again, have you? Ah, oh, must be something you've eaten. No, i am bang my stomach, that's what I've done. That's all I need. Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter now? I've squashed me pills. Have you? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Look, I'm supposed to take one of them every time I'm upset. No, we don't want to put all over the place. Oh, Help, help, Blakey. There's one of your pills here with that white medicine on it. Now you can take the both at once. It's not a pill, that's a blooming fly button. I wonder why it's four little holes in it. 
Get up, Blackie, let's see if you're all right. Get up on it. Uh, I'll have to have this bus taken out of commission. That'll all have to be hosed down, it will look. Like yeah, well, you better stop here with it then. Why? So they can hose you down as well, because you're setting the yoghurt. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 this is doing me no good at all. All this, all this aggravation make me make acid, you know? Yeah, that? well, don't worry, Blake. All that yoghurt to make your bottom nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, 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 good. Oh, What's oh. the matter now? Uh, <laughs> all the yoghurt soaking through now. <laughs> What's happened to the inspector? Why is he standing like that? Well, uh, he's had a little accident. <laughs> Go on, Blakey, mate, we'll get you cleaned yeah, up. Come on, Come on, Blakey. It's He's all right. He just messed his suit up a bit. That's all right. Look, he's, yeah. he's setting the yoghurt, see? Yeah. Come on, then, Blakey, we'll get you scrubbed yeah. down, mate. something I can do? No, no, just a minute. Molly, uh, uh, Mary, I want to have a word with you, uh, love. Uh, look, I saw you with Arthur just now. I thought you was going out with him. Now, come on, love. What, what's going on? Nothing's going on. I asked Arthur to come over here. You did? Well, I've been thinking about it and I've decided I don't want to get involved with a married man. Ah, now that's wise. So I'll be leaving and I'll be collecting my things this evening. Will you? Yeah, well, I suppose it's all for the best, yeah. Oh, Black is all right, no bones broken, just a bit of shock, that's all. Oh, I'd better go and have a look, see if he needs any treatment. Yeah, well, don't look for too long or you'll be wanting treatment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you told me that you saw her going off with Arthur. Yeah, I did. He made a right twit of himself, mate. He turned <laughs> up in his best suit with a big box of chocolates for her. <laughs> And she gave him the brush off. Oh, oh, poor old Arthur. <laughs> poor old Arthur. He'll be walking around the town in hell of a state now. What, trying to forget her? No, trying to flog the chocolates. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, Arthur. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, what a day today, eh? Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, love, how are you? Oh, fine. Here, I'll get you a nice cup of tea. That's your idea, darling. Thank you. Hello, Stan. Hello, what? You look pleased with yourself. Oh, Stan, look what Arthur went and got me. <laughs> a lovely big box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? <coughs> he went all the way down to the posh shop to get them specially, and they was all done up with a lover's knot, look. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> yeah. Arthur knows how to get round the girls. Oh, 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 yeah, well, oh. <laughs> Mind you, it doesn't always work. <laughs> Does it, mate? <laughs> I must have another one. I'll have a raspberry cream. They're my favourite. Do you want one, Stan? Uh, let's have a look at them, Doctor. Oh, no, no, I'll second thoughts. No, I'll wait till I've had my tea. No, I'll have one, sunshine. Oh. <laughs> you great guts. <laughs> You've only had a five minute and already the top layer's gone. Well, don't be cross, Arthur. I have forgiven you, haven't I, darling? It's all right, all right, all right. <laughs> ain't clumsy, it ain't come here in raspberry cream. Here's your tea, love. <laughs> Thanks, darling, thank you. Oh, I'm right. sorry, Arthur. Have one from the bottom layer. Right. How disgusting! They've all been bitten! <laughs> I need to find out which was the soft centres. <laughs> It's always the same with you, isn't it? Whenever you get anything to eat, you behave like a great fat pig. Well, you're not perfect. No. Stan? What? Here, Stan, do you think Arthur and Olive's marriage is all right? I'm a bit worried about them. I spent nearly two quid on this box of trumpets. Of course it's all right. Listen to them. You well, they're back to normal, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, shut up! <laughs>